What I didn't like, though, and this is not a popular opinion at all. I didn't like having children. A lot of people in love. What's the best movie? I did not like Advent Children, man. I did not understand it. What part did like, you understand? Like, is that the one where it's just a movie? Just a movie, yep. Yeah, I didn't understand where these Sephiroth triplets came from. I, I didn't understand what was going on. It looked great. It like, did look great. But damn, I was so confused. What is this illness? Okay, like... I'm like scratching my head of what's going on, and then you see Sephiroth in the end. I'm like, oh. didn't well, we just kill you off? The um, that's why I didn't like the movie because of that. Uh, honestly, is because of the confusion with it, and in all the things that Cloud and the party work for in Seven, they undermined it in in. They even um, have like this movie. moment where they do that "friend is my power" thing. Mm, yeah, I'm like, man talk like out of all the ga like games i wouldn't think that they would do that trope no. but final fantasy was never good for making movies no like even though I they never like spirit, i like the spirit within nobody else they wanted avid children <laughs> instead of spirits within that's what the problem was and that's where uh hunabaru sakagachi left the producer from one to to ten, basically, that's where he left. Is once they that the the um studios went under, and then that's when they bought they they merged with Enix and became Square Enix. And in my opinion, this is just me, my personal opinion, they have not been the same company since then. Even the Final Fantasies that have come out since then, they're not like the the new ones. Ten, six, eight. Seven, four, all of those. Oh yeah, they're not the same company because they're a different company. And then you guys, and they don't, they lost the heart. Like they don't, they don't. That's how I feel about Pokemon. Mm, so okay. equate that with Pokemon, and mm. you'll understand better. Okay. As soon as you said that, it, it made it hit me. I was like, yeah, I can. That's 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 why I don't really care about the other Final Fantasies. Like I buy them. Like I, like twelve, I I ain't got all the way to the end. Just didn't beat twelve. 13 all the way to the end i i just didn't feel compelled to do it like when i when eris died i wanted to fight sephiroth i wanted to avenge uh the avenge eris and then it just so happened that their story started to pick up where where tifa and they always talk about this a lot and it's a great segue as well they always talk about this a lot um that like joker and movies is the first thing with you know stories with mental health and things when it comes to comic book characters and making it mainstream but we forget that which they also had in avon children that's what it was mako poisoning um is cloud was mako poisoned and cloud suffered from did he suffered from um you know uh, identity disorder he was believing he was oh yeah person. there's a, a a lot of things going on with him he, he got experimented crazy. on. <laughs> he was literally he had a problem. Like I, you, you saw me play the original uh, game. Mm -hmm. I didn't really understand like the power of the the scene where he goes to Zach and he takes up the you know his sword because mm -hmm. it looked like he was evil or something <laughs> because you know the graphics back then. But I didn't understand until like. I knew who Zach was, first of all, and all that. And I'm like, damn. So yeah. this dude was living, thinking he was, like, somebody who just died. Mm -hmm. And Zach did not die, like, peacefully. Zach mm -hmm. died in, like, a battlefield. That's yeah. the problem. Zach like, got that shot with a machine story, gun. <laughs> that whole story was like, damn, they did Zach dirty. First, he, he like, you know, leaves Eris and... All that stuff, and then he has to go fight all these people who want to kill him and protect Cloud. It's just like, man, yeah, he, and nobody cared about him. He's like the unforgotten hero. Nobody, no, nobody, like even Eris. When you know, if you have her in your party, when you go to Zach's hometown, what is it, like Gunbala or whatever that is, she and, doesn't mention a thing. No, she just runs out of the house. Yeah, she doesn't say anything. She just runs out of the house when he go talk to his parents. And that's it. Yeah. And I'm just like, 
Okay. Well, then nobody wants to say anything because she and see that's where the the, the conflict with things were when it came to Eris with uh, uh, um, Cloud is because she always she knew she liked him, but she didn't know what she liked about Cloud because he really wasn't who he was. But Tifa knew who Cloud was, and and that's what she was confused because this new person he was acting like wasn't who he was acting like. So she's like, I want to find out more about him before I, you know before i so i can see what's up and that's what happened with avon children is because like they took i know that away. i know like eris like zach said bye he just went somewhere like she, she probably didn't know he's he dead so i'm like if you see a guy with the same look and sword as the other guy you used to date um she didn't mention anything like oh where's zach do you know someone called Zach? She did ask him. She oh, said, she did ask him right in the beginning. Remember when they were sitting on when they first when you first when she first sees Tifa going to Don Cornelio's. Um, she says, "Do you know?" She goes, "No, never mind." She gets ready to mention him by three or four times. She goes, "Do you know?" Never mind. She goes, "Do all so first class soldiers?" Because she was wondering because they had the same eyes. Do they all? Mm -hmm. So she assumed that they all looked and acted alike. Because she had never, yeah. I mean, nobody never met a first class soldier. Like, it's rare to meet a. Yeah, soldier. that's like, I thought she was just curious. Didn't think it had to do. I knew nothing about Zach or what happened before or Cloud. I was just like, man, this chick is curious then. Well, yeah, she was, she was curious, but she also dated. Remember, her, remember the conversation with her mother when the, her mother tells you to leave because she had dated a first class soldier before and was heartbroken, and and that's why. So, and then him being just looking like him, dressing like him, but that's the that's that's the reason I'm in love with Tifa. Tifa is. Tifa. I know you love Tifa, but it's like the whole thing was like Aerith or Tifa. I'm like, they could both be. But you know what? That was the that's what the whole thing was. They did that on purpose. That's what it was uh when um I first played it. Me it was me, Gus Goofy ass. Oh my god, Gus, Petey, <laughs> Daniel, Eric. We all were playing the game at the same time, and we all dudes. So what we were deciding who was better, Tifa or Eris. And see, what they did was is they gave Tifa bigger breasts. So most people thought that everybody was just dealing with Tifa because of that. But when you peel back like the character of Tifa, you get a chance to really see, you know, the character. Now, what I'm hoping they do, um, because one of the gripes about Tifa is the fact that her she has no story other than the fact that she's just in love with Cloud. That everything was based off of Cloud. What I personally would like to see in her story development is, since they're making this a bigger game, I want to see the five years when she was away from Cloud. I want to see her practicing and training. I want to see the mindset of how do you block out that some person. Because remember, Tifa hates Sephiroth too. Sephiroth killed her daddy. Stabbed her daddy right up in the chest. Um, and she doesn't have a mother. Sephiroth killed Cloud's mother. Like Sephiroth is literally top three of all time video game villains. He killed Eris. That's the reason why he became number one. Then he killed the Kiro's uh, uh, parents, his love interest parent. Then he also tries to take over the world and destroys everybody else with a with a meteor and stuff and bring a god to the planet, alien species. So you know, it, it's so much to to see. I I want to see each character's own personal journey until they meet up with each other and i think that's what it seems like they're going to be doing in these episodes i hope they are and i want to see zach i would even like to see what eris is doing beforehand because she's like you mentioned mischievous and or, or curious so i would like to see what she was doing before before she met Cloud in Avalanche and running from the Turks because we know Tensing the other uh, Turks he's in love with her um also mm -hmm. jesse and 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 um biggs they had a love relationship that they kind of glossed over but now that it's in new graphics we can actually see it because i used to think jesse was a guy like when i first played the game I was, <laughs> until she dusted stuff off his face i was like who is this dude oh it's a woman but yeah I, but i do appreciate you stopping by though man yeah i ain't putting you out yet but i do appreciate you stopping by and chopping up with some some we got really into that final fantasy uh that yeah. final fantasy tifa i mean final fantasy 7 um final fantasy tifa 
Yeah, like, hopefully, you know, flushes out the characters more. And I guess the last thing I want to say is, um, you know, how you were saying Tifa, like, yeah, she has, she looks good, but she's more. Mm -hmm. That's how, you know, people need a, need a beat because some people look good, but they're more than just their looks. So, and then with the, uh, something <laughs> but where can the people find you mandy um you want to link your twitter your youtube where can everyone find you uh you can find me on my channel at no okay sorry you can find me on my channel at mandy lee plays and my twitter at mandy lee plays also and yeah i do nintendo stuff and streaming and all that good stuff so stop on by and as always, ma'am, I appreciate you stopping by. We'll have to do this again. Um, we got some. We had some pretty good topics today. <laughs> Next time we have to get into <laughs> the difficulty in games. Something maybe you know a little, <clears throat> a little damn. <laughs> I was there when that happened. I was there at that. I was there at that podcast actually when all that went down. Um, so we have to get into some different subjects by then it might be some new games and other things that's coming out too which it always is but as always in a web i appreciate y'all stopping by remember if you like this please do me a favor you know i'm really out here i'm out here grinding y'all i'm really out here trying <laughs> just trying to get your boy to the 1k this year it's 2020 this is the year hit that like button and if you're new to my channel please Make sure you subscribe. And as always, interweb, remember to eat, geek, sleep, repeat. Holler at y'all later. Peace.